A big night for football, it most certainly is. We're at the Coliseum, Alfonso Perez. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division, La Liga. It is Getafe facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Very much looking forward to this game as Barcelona get the proceedings underway. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark andre Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And a chance to whip it in here. Good tackle. Can he find the net? Oh, a good diving save. Keen to take it short here. And a goal kick is the outcome. Undeniably, one of the great finishers of his generation, Robert Lewandowski. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Gundogan, Pedri, and the ball with Christensen, making a bit of headway. De Jong, he must finish! Oh, a tremendous block. Well, he's given it away. It's a fine piece of attacking play from Lewandowski. And, he... and there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, here we can see it again, and he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1-0. Mauro Arambari. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Or putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Christensen and intercepts again Ansu Fati it's with Gundogan Fati Gundogan De Jong oh could be and a goal calls for celebrations again Two in front. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So 
now back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Domingos Duarte. Munia with it. Munia. Big chance to Stegen with a great save. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Munir. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Well, no surprise there. Barcelona have enjoyed most of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Indeed, perhaps they can cash in again. Let's see. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. got to say an incredible first half performance that scoreline tells you all you need to know well nearing the halftime interval and suffice it to say they're not making great use of home advantage Stuart your assessment well it's not been a good first half that's for sure they've looked lethargic they've lost key battles all over the pitch and just haven't defended well enough something needs to change after the break otherwise this could end up being a rout Good vision. Can he get onto this? Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Good pressure high up the pitch. Good pass. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Unable to make the mark with that cross. Ansu Fati. This is Robert Lewandowski. Pedri. Good physical play. Gundogan. And he really read that brilliantly. Well, the first half story has been written. It is half-time here at the Coliseum Alfonso Perez. So, back underway here, into the second half. Rafinha. Can he take the chance? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that.
foul play, says the referee. Just the challenge that was required. Kunde. Here's Rafinha. Fine sequence of passes. And showing fine vision. Can he finish this? Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Nemanja Maksimovic. Now they've lost it. Frankie de Jong. Here's Rafinha. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And Lewandowski wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be when the ball is played in the box. He's such a great player. A lopsided contest. 4-0. Dunal. Munia in possession. Munia. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, he's given us away. Nemanja Maksimovic. 4-2. And winning it back. Tammy and Suarez. Christensen it's with Gundogan and into the last 20 minutes Lewandowski well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Short corner it is. De Jong. On to Lewandowski. And a shooting chance for Lewandowski. Angileri. They've regained possession. Kunde. Lewandowski, oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals, no let up here. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Genet. 
On the ball, Alderete. Arambari. Nemanja Maksimovic. And giving the ball away. And he's broken free. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. about the outcome surely they now have been removed An effective challenge so the final whistle almost upon us and this is not exactly what the home fans had in mind when they arrived at the ground today Stuart well they just never got going people will point fingers towards the centre backs and keeper and to be fair they've been poor no doubt about that but they haven't had much protection there's been so much space for their opponents to operate in and they've had a field day the final whistle can't come soon enough. And so into the final five minutes. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Gabi. Pedri. And this is the moment from Lewandowski. He can't hold on to it. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Takes the shot. Able to get a body in the way. Now, how about the short corner? Christensen now with Lewandowski and the keeper more than equal to it now how about the short corner De Jong, and that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second.